other characters that could counter it. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing in this game. It's worked, it works a little bit better. One thing in this game that he he doesn't have that he did have in SF4 was his straight fireball. Yeah. But in this game, he has to spend a meter to get it. Which isn't a bad thing. I think it, I think it was a good trade off. Yeah, uh, he's got a lot of different tools. Yeah, because he still has a lot of tools exactly, and he has the V the V skill. Yeah, but in this game, like he's so um, they, his his playstyle just works so well in this game too. It works out great. But all right, so Groovy Mango versus Juvia's Cheeseburger. Already starting out with the a uh, couple of uh, Sonic booms into grab, but gets grab canceled. Oh, okay. I haven't oh, seen gets the command jump in. Yeah, I haven't seen Doug use a, a regular grab in a, in a hot minute, so that was pretty interesting to see. Groovy Mango almost had stun there. Uh, stun meter, meter just goes right down. Well, we may want to react to that and jump out of there and then get a, get a nice little punish there. Yeah. Not too much damage. Uh, one thing Groovy Mango is really good with is that uh, the, cr the crouching anti-air um, it looks like the medium or, or a jab. Yeah. Doug seems a lot more at home in this kind of matchup where he's like, all right, you're going to come to me. You don't have the sand full screen. Uh, zone it. Into V. Into V trigger. Yeah. It actually does a little bit of damage, which is nice. I don't know when it pops up in there, a little fire out of the mouth. Yeah. Eats his little chili pepper or whatever he eats. Um, yeah, Doug just looks a lot more at home in this matchup. Yeah, not too many Dow Sims out there, so not too many people can understand the matchup. Yeah. But okay, here we go. Mash is definitely a character we see a lot more of. Maybe plus after that. Yeah, and he just gets one little solid uh, medium, crouching medium. Uh, went for the, the EX uh, moon site, but they were able to eat it just like he ate that one right there. Yeah. No just one? like that, Nash has no meter anymore. Yeah, no armor on that, so it's a little rough for uh, for Groovy Mango. Well, no, no whiff punish on the EX the headbutt. Doug does have his V trigger now. Both so does Nash, though. Yeah, both of uh, Nash might save it for a combo. Both of them, I would assume. They're both at, like, one good hit from either of them. One good hit confirm and it's going to be over. Yeah. Nice read uh, by Chief uh, makes, makes it safe. Oh, oh. Tries to read the jump, but doesn't get it. Oh, gets right out of there, too. That was really good. So he, EX uh, Sonics. No more meter for Doug, though. Ooh, Ooh, whips it. Oh, he doesn't get a punish, though. That was so unsafe, too. <laughs> I. Yeah, right now, Charlie just needs to stay back and, uh, oh, gets the crouching medium. Yeah, but that was a very tough spot for Cheeseburger because Nash, like, he just keep throwing those Sonics out there, and Cheeseburger just needs to get that a hard read. But it's a re really risky if, if he throws out the the dive in because if he misses it, it's a hard punish. Yeah, putting uh, Cheeseburger right in the corner there. Good call by Move Groovy Mango. Doug forcing his way out though. Ooh, tries to get him with the backhand, gets tripped. Oh, oh tried to read him. Oh, that's I did not know that was uh, Fireball Invincible. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, it goes for the command grab. Right now, Doug just throwing a lot of a lot of moves out in neutral, just trying to catch Charlie hitting Sutton. Yeah, a lot of times uh, Nash players have a really aggressive playstyle, so you'll catch them dashing in, especially with uh, those command guys. Go like oh, I was gonna say he's gonna go on the V trigger, but he doesn't have it. Not yet. Right now he's got it. A little bit too late. All right, he's, he's, too he's sitting on meter and V trigger. I was just about to say he's probably gonna do that into V trigger, but yeah, oh, he gets him with a grab, grab and throws him right down. I was see again like he caught him dashing with that command grab. That's exactly what he's been looking for. Well, game, this was game one, I believe, going to Doug. Doug. Yep. But we uh, we saw the last two times Groovy Mango has been on stream. Drop game one, able to bring it back and take both games. Yep. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty good at what he does. Yeah. But this is uh, as as uh, as you know, this this is losers finals. This is a best of five. Yep. A nice little anti air there. Mm. That's one thing. If when Charlie's throw out their uh, their little scythe kick out in, in neutral far away like that, it gives yeah. you more than enough time to react to it. Yeah. Usually, all you really need is a jab. Yeah. Usually, we kind of like to throw out the shore. You can because sure you can always lead to a mix up in this game. Yeah. Sure, you can. Pretty good. Nice trips on the banana. Gets a little headbutt. Oh, it cancels in the V trigger. Not bad. Not bad. Takes life lead. Mm. He's gonna go into this V trigger. I think that might be it. Or no, he's gonna yeah. put him in. Ooh. It's a die. <laughs> yes. He didn't follow up after Damn. that. Going for the dive, Groovy Mango not expecting that at all. Nah, that was pretty good. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Doug, up a game now. And up a set. Okay, doesn't reach. Again, trying to get uh, a lot of Nash players to throw out that Sonic Boom and dash in a couple times. Trying to get the grab. Didn't jump uh, dash in that time, so. Just eats a regular donut. Don't know what that does, but does a thing. Maybe it builds meter. <laughs> I don't know. I think he wanted oh, wow. to. Oh, wow. Nash just sat there and took that jump in. Yeah, yeah. might as well, I guess. Here we oh, go. He just gets the banana, but he's able to react out of there. 
No, it's not bad. Here we go. Yeah, one thing you gotta be aware of when when you're blocking against birdies, you just gotta wait. Like if he throws out a V skill like that, you just gotta be ready to hit a button to, to punish him for it. Yeah. Thanks on him into the V into the V skill, but not V trigger, but he's not able to come off of it. But this is gonna be game. Ooh, damn! All right, game two, going to oh, cheeseburger. Yeah, very much more uh, uh, convincing than game one. Oh yeah. All right. So going into game three, Doug really wants that rematch against Lucky D. Yeah. Hopefully he figured uh, something out. Yeah. Groovy Mango right now dumping in the database, seeing what he's gonna work against this birdie. Mm. Again, nice anti here right off the uh, moon salt, moon kick, or whatever. <laughs> um, ooh, that was a real crazy crush counter there. <laughs> but it works out. Almost putting a uh, birdie into crumble, capitalizes up a little bit. Uh, this moon side kick in the middle. Ooh, nice cross up butt. Uh, cheeseburger ready. Yeah, Cheeseburger tried, looks like he tried to push a button there before the active uh, hit frame came out, but he was not able to. Yeah, again, trying to catch him jumping there. Uh, he, there we go, gets him with the shoulder. Uh, Groovy Mango again with those really good anti-air, the crouching mediums. Yeah, go up, grab, gets blocked by uh, Cheeseburger. Makes it safe. Tries to hit him with the backhand. I actually kind of like that mechanic in this game. Uh, the with the, uh, the yeah. skill. Yeah, to make it safe. Yeah, a lot of characters have stuff like that. Wasn't fast enough uh, throwing the can down to get the block, but you know what? It works out. Groovy Mango, going to take round one. Oh, oh, they can. Yep, yeah, able to react to that uh, jump in. Ooh. I guess Cheeseburger just reminding him I have that upper chain. Because <laughs> in all honesty, yep, he, there he was able to react to the V skill. Yeah. Nash really hasn't been jumping too much. A lot, a lot of jumpings haven't been happening. A lot of dashing grabs, a lot of Sonic, uh, Sonic into low uh, mediums. I like to see. Uh, oh wow! Catch just throws it out there, expecting some some kind of move, and he was correct. That was gets a good. Him, gets him in the corner. Let's see what he gets. I, I was gonna say, I would like to see a grab, a second grab. Oh, they both both were neither close enough. Would have been a tech grab, anyways. Yeah. That's the anti air. Makes it safe. Birdie sitting on a full stick of butter there. I mean, uh, Nash. Oh, Ooh, and the dive. Ooh, there you go. Groovy Mango sitting on his uh, tournament life right now. Is he gonna go home with third? Is he gonna bring this back? He needs to get 3-0 right now against Doug, which is not no easy feat. No. Ooh. Oh, the, oh, and that catches an him. Anti aired him with the. Uh, so I guess you know, as soon as he jumped, uh, I guess as soon as he went, saw that jump, immediately jumped into the super. Yeah, gonna put him in a decent life lead, but Cheeseburger not gonna have that. Actually, that did not a lot of damage at all. Yeah, Birdie has a lot of life. Yeah. So it's unfortunate because now Nash is just gonna try and build up a little bit of meter. Wow. But it's always smart to use your meter right at the beginning of the round. That way you can just build it back up. That way it's not sitting there doing yeah. nothing. No, so that's that, better. So you see, he already has a bar, a bar and a half to work with right now. Yeah. And he, and he does have the life lead, so that was a, a very smart choice to use it uh, yeah. right away. Works for him. V-Trigger built up all the way on Cheeseburger now and gets him with the EX uh, Bulldog here. Oh, not able to convert off it. Not able to throw it too much off of it, though. Oh, unfortunately, he misses See what the he can grab. do, Nash. He's sitting, he's sitting on another uh, his meter full again. So he can chip him out right now with his if he gets his life low enough. Yep. Right now, he can chip oh, him right it. now if he wanted. Yep, yep. that's, that's going to be it. Yeah, just chips him. That was smart. Smart. Mm -hmm. Really smart. If, see, at, at the last round, he was he spent the meter right away and then just spent the whole round building it back up slowly. Yeah. And at the end right there, um, he was able to chip him out with it. No, that was pretty impressive, actually. Yep, and as you're seeing, Ruby Mango already winning the game one. I mean, game... Uh, Getting his first, getting his first W in this set. Yeah, he's on the board now. Here and as, as we saw previously, once he gets on the board, he Ooh. starts going. Crush counter. Oh, try to go. get into the, try to get into the command grab, not able to convert off of it. That does work. It's just his timing was a little bit off. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Gets him with a little grab. And gets the kick backs up, resets back to neutral. Uh, spends the uh, V, uh, V skill to make it safe. All right, nice little uh, conversion there. Getting some life. Oh, Ooh, gets him with the backhand. Did not crush counter though. That uh, that ex headbutt's pretty safe. Yeah, it looks like not too many characters can punish it a lot, unless they have like an advancing special. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, nice little conversion again by uh, Groovy Tries to get the cross up. Doesn't get it. it misses the overhead. Oh, oh get, gets him while eat while eating it. Yeah, that was interesting. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the V trigger pop was for, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. He must have missed an input, tried to get something to make it safe, and it just came out, or just didn't get the hit at all. Yeah. Oh, what's the grab? With no punish by Cheeseburger. Just throws that kick out there. 
tries to plank on him, but Nash is definitely ready for that. The Groovy Mango again, just doing a really good job of adapting. Oh, misses Ooh. the dive, gets, gets behind him with a low sweep, not too much, not too big of a punish. So, oh, nice little uh, upwards headbutt there. Ooh, gets him with the crumple again oh, into super. The super, not gonna kill yet, but gonna put him in a good life lead here. Now and let's he, see what he's gonna do. Is he gonna go up on him or is he gonna back up? He's gonna go right on him. Yeah, he's got the potential. He's gonna, to spend, the, he's gonna spend the V trigger to make it safe. Ooh, he's gonna spend his own. Gets the overhead. Ooh, oh, he's Guru tied Mano. up. Two, two, two. To oh, pretty convincing round. Yeah. Like you said, like we've been seeing from Guru Mano, as soon as he drops, as soon as he falls behind, once his tournament life is at stake, he just immediately turns it right up. Yeah, great adaptation from Mango. Let's see if uh, game, going into uh, game five, if Doug can't do the same thing and just adapt a little bit better to what Guru Mango's doing. Seems as though maybe, uh, hmm, I actually don't know what exactly Doug's doing wrong. It seems like Ruby Mango is capitalizing a lot of the punishable moves just a little bit better. His spacing on those uh, axe kicks are doing really good. Yeah, it just, it just seems like Groovy Mango has more options like in neutral to use, and he's using every single option he has. Yeah, he's staying right out of Doug's uh, command grab range. Yeah, it's, Doug's just trying to read just read different things, and Groovy Mango's changing it up so much that Doug can't just sit there and, and like read one thing. He has yeah. to be ready for everything, and it seems like he's not. But just I say that, Groovy Mango was not ready for that dive, and oh, he able man. to block the low there. Gets him with the EX Swan dive, but oh, gets the cross up. Doug not looking happy by that. Nice little grab tech. Oh, Tries to come with the little axe kick there. Ooh. Okay, oh, he, oh, that's, is nice. that gonna end it? No, it's not. No, but he still has the can on the floor. Ooh, Ooh calls him grabs out. It. Man, that was actually scary. That, that was amazing, though. Yeah, Groovy they, they, they both went for it all at the end right there. And yeah. Cheeseburger's option was just a little bit better. Gets him with the head button, not letting that kick get in. Yeah, this could potentially be Groovy Mango's last uh, last round here. It's, it's, oh, the, the can trips him up. That goes a whole meter, like like gone, like that. Planks on him into the combo. Good little 25% look like it was about there. Doug playing super oh, safe yeah, right Doug's now. Not, Doug really wants that rematch with Lucky D. Who breaks the stand back there, too. Oh, it's all those lemons yeah. everywhere. Poor lemon stand guy. Boy. All right, Doug actually doing incredible work right now. Gets the grab. He's triggering the grab. Doug's work, Doug does have more meter to work with still, oh. so let's see how he uses it. Oh, nice. Like right there. Dive. Yes, even if even if that um, even if he did get hit by the button, the armor would have eaten it. Yeah. So that was definitely his best option to use in that corner. Oh, that was an incredible match by yeah, Doug. Definitely. Doug, uh, <laughs> Doug getting up, walking away, even though he's still next. I think he's got to end up. Uh, yeah, probably probably taking a quick bathroom break. Oh yeah, that was. A long five rounds. Oh, yeah, that was grueling by both men.